right. So I'm actually, um, me and RJ are at college now. Uh, I know we haven't had a lot of viewers lately, and I don't know if this video will be uploaded before or after the Crucible Lift one. Uh, we didn't hear that if it's not. Um, <laughs> but, so I guess you're wondering what we've been doing. Uh, you know, just normal stuff. You know, we're engineering our everyday problems. Like, for instance, I haven't eaten since breakfast. RJ has food. But I didn't really want to use RJ Spoon, but we're sitting right next to a 3D printer. And so, we did the obvious thing. Why not 3 d print a spoon? Cut to printing spoon now. Say something epic. Oh, my phone! <laughs> Oh, there you go. All right, it's a little bit. Well, I guess I could. Okay, so you pull off the raft. Maybe I should smooth that with a soldering iron. I don't know if that would be a good idea or not because the soldering iron has the solder on it, which contains lead. But you know, the Romans used lead acetate as sweetener, so it can't be that bad for you. So what happens, like, this This can never burn, right? Like, in terms of, like, catch uh, fire? It, it, can, it can. It can catch fire? Yes, I've experienced it. Actually, if it catches fire and you have, if you take the filament and, like, hold a lighter to it, it'll fire, it'll catch fire and, like, burn up. And it'll drip off in fireballs. <laughs> don't <laughs> let them down your skin. Wow, that is Just hilarious. Don't, because if they land your skin, like, melt your skin, and then, like, pry them off, and, like, I, I, <laughs> I may or may not be speaking from experience. May or may not. <laughs> You mean definitely, yeah. <laughs> right? Yes. Like positively certain. All right. Now let's see how this plastic fork tastes. It's a fork. Perfect. <laughs> Good point. Oh. Yeah. Hmm. It works. It kind of feels weird to eat with this thing. It's a lot thicker than your normal um, plastic spoon. Um. That kind of scratch, but. It serves a purpose. Yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, it was... It serves a purpose. It's kind of thick and textured, but it... It adds something to, you know, the experience of eating when you eat with a really thick, chunky piece of plastic which came... which was born from a computer. I mean... It, it, it adds something. I'm not going to say if it's good or bad. I think that's really someone's opinion, but it just, yeah, you got, you just, you got to try it. So, was it worth it to print the spoon, or should we have just run to the store? Well, since it's with the university's filament, it was totally worth it. Yay, we saved two cents. Yeah, but it works. It so was fun. It was just fun. Yep, so. You wouldn't recommend printing your dinnerware? Not if someone besides you is eating off it. So if your significant other is there, do not give them the printed dinnerware. And if you don't want your friends to think they're slightly crazy, do not give them the printed dinnerware. But if it's just you, I wouldn't recommend printing a whole set, but it's something fun just to try. And I think that's my conclusion on it. I don't know if I'm going to be using this thing anytime again, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs>